Hey man, you wanna see my own gym man? Yeah, that's good. That's real good. So the home gym is also my recording area. Over here we have a softbox, tripod, tripod, microphone, softbox, green screen, and then a nice clean green screen in the back. If I want that professional quality. Yeah, I painted this wall. Now if we turn around, this is where the magic happens. We got your classic wall where I like to film from. And these are acoustic panels, by the way. It's to prevent echo from settling in. Now down here, if we go a little bit lower, what do we have? A weight tree stand. One pound plates. Look at this. One pounders, guys. Two and a half, two and a half. 10, 10, 10, 10. 25, 25, 5, 5. 45, 45, 45. 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. In total, if we add up all the weights in this little home gym area, I got 650 pounds of weight, plus I got the band. So I got a lot to work with here, and it's more than what I need. Now, if we go a little bit lower, we got these little holes, right? I got my sexy Iron Mind wrist straps, love them. Got the Eagle Loop straps, your finger work. Wrist straps, chain, I got an extra chain as well. Now, here's the fun thing. Dip attachments to the power rack. And it also has, has a nice little guard, guards the weight plates in case they're ever gonna fall off. So close off the area. Over here, we've got the Iron Mind um, loading pin with the hub as well. Go a little bit lower. Got some ankle weights, 10 pounds each. My elbow sleeves, my beautiful slingshot. Here's where things get real fun. Oh, specialty bars. Got a safety squat bar. Oh man, this thing is fantastic. I've always wanted one. I'll be using it a lot for Bulgarian split squats, pistol squats, things of that nature. So it's a really, really good bar. So stay tuned for some footage on that. And underneath it, we actually got a Swiss bar. Neutral handles, guys. And I can even attach fat grips on and it mimics like a log. So this is really, really good for sparing the shoulders. I'll be using this a lot for benching, overhead press. I mean, just more exercises available. Now if we shoot more to the left, we got a classic dumbbell. We got some two easy curl bars, a rope, some different carabiners for various attachments. Little plates there. My sexy country crush. The best thing ever for grip. And yeah, that's all I got down here. So left to right. Okay. Now if I turn around, we got my really, really good power rack and some extra bars. First of all, this is a beater bar. I'll be using this for serious overload type training, okay? So that I don't mess up any equipment. As you can see, the knurling is quite nice. It's not overly aggressive. It's all right, it's decent, you know? The sleeves spin good, so it's a good quality bar. 1,500 pound loading capacity. This is what I'll be using when my grip is like fatigued or I just want a little break. Up here, we got my really nice bar, the west side. Power bar 2.0. Just look at the knurling on this thing. The knurling is really, 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 really aggressive. I'm used to cheap bars at the gym, um, so this kind of ripped up my hand when I first started using it. It's very, very aggressive, extremely, extremely stiff, but it's a high quality bar. Check this out. Boom. Really, really good quality barbell, man. Best bar I've ever used in my life. It's just really stiff and aggressive, so you got to be careful what you want to use this for, but. I like it for overhead pressing, uh, squats in particular, bench press. Solid bar, Louis Simmons approved. Check it out. You can even see the West Side logo. See that? West Side barbell, man. Love Louis Simmons. Louis Simmons changed my life. Now, onto the power rack itself. As you can see, pull a bar on top. Got different handles. Got wide neutral, okay? I got regular neutral. I got semi neutral. So that's very nice. And if I go on the other side, I can do different little grips. So I got a lot of options here. This is also where I can hang my rings, okay? I could also do pull-ups from the squares. And I could even hang um, pins from those little holes over there. See that? So there's a lot of flexibility, okay? Speaking of the pins, I got some right here. And this is gonna make doubling bands even more crazy because it's directly on the floor. A lot of range of motion, a lot of band tension. I could even do it with reverse band for perfect accuracy. Now, what I really like about this power rack is the amount of holes that it has. Just look at all those holes, guys. It's insane. Look, I'm going down this list. It's, it's so insane. It's so, 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 so insane. So I can do progressive range of motion to no end. 
I think there's like 30 holes in here, if not more, maybe like 35 holes. Really, really adjustable, and I could do so many things with this. And as far as the rack pulls go, see these pins right here? I can bring them down quite low, and it's literally like one and a half inches, two inches above the ground when you measure it. So this is like an extreme, like deep rack pull. So I can get some nice Jeffersons and behind the backs in there. It's like the closest thing to conventional. Now in terms of pulling off the floor, I don't want to do it, okay? I could, but I'm a little bit tight if I go left to right. And also I don't see a point, like the rack, I can adjust it as low as I want and I can pull off the floor lengthwise if I just go in the rack. That's how good this power rack is. So I'm, I'm pretty much living the power rack, all right? That's all I'm doing for the most part. Here, of course, we got a competition bench, heavy duty. Got my nice little gym shorts right there. Uh, chalk is all over the floor because I'm a real lifter. Over there, we got a yoga mat if I want to do some calisthenics. And yeah, that's all there really is to it, guys. That's the home gym. So we got the power rack with the two bars, beater bar, west side power bar. We got my specialty bars here, all the basic equipment. I also have my head harness in the other room, as well as Bob the dummy, which you saw before. Got a mat if I want to stand on it for more range of motion. Like I said, I can get this power rack, same deadlift height, but I won't be pulling off the floor, okay? Because I think it, I don't want it to like, you know, hit any of these objects or like damage the wood or anything like that. It does fit, but it's like at the extremities. I'd have to go a bit lighter if I'm pulling off the floor. So yeah, this is pretty much rack pull city. And also to clarify some details, I was never kicked out of my gym. I just wanted this uh, so I could better benefit you guys for one. I can give you more tutorials, right? more high quality videos and I want to train frequently man I want to be in the gym every day so I've been doing pull-ups every single day I do like 50 to 100 on the daily you know I just want to go crazy with my training I want to be a warrior like right now it's just study train eat sleep work man so that's it there's your home gym hope you like it also got my claws in there for some extra goodies but there you go simple and it's everything that I need